Hi, baby. What are you doing? Mm. Are we going out for lunch today? For mommy's birthday? That's a bit cheeky, Felix. Oi. Felix, can you hop down, please? Get down. Get down. Not safe. Get down, please. Look at him, guys. The cheek. Get down, Felix. Good boy. Good morning, everybody. I think my lens is a bit dirty, but whatever. Uh, so, it is Sunday, and I am dressed, makeup on. Felix is looking quite smart. He just needs his face wiped. Uh, because we are going out for lunch today with my family for my birthday. My birthday is actually not till next week on Wednesday. But it just works a lot better for everybody to get uh, to lunch today. So we're doing it today. We're going to a cafe called Alaya, which is the same place Nick and I went when we just found out that I was having Felix. So... We get to finally take Felix there, like proper. So I'm hoping for a good day, but to be honest, guys, I know I just feel flat today. I'm not in the greatest of moods. Normally I'm like really excited for a new day, especially when we're gonna go somewhere and especially if it involves food. But just recently I've just been feeling quite down about a few things that um I know eventually I'll get over them or they'll just get better with time, but Oh, it's just one of those days, I suppose. So hopefully the day picks up. I'm just hoping for a really nice afternoon with my family. So yeah, we're just waiting on Dad to finish up getting ready. And then we're going to leave. I'm hoping we can get a coffee before we head up to lunch. Just to, I don't know, boost my day a bit more because I'm not really feeling that great. I think a coffee will definitely... Uh, start the day off in a positive direction from Nick's work anyway because they have the best coffee as I say all the time But I'm not lying guys uh, Yeah, so I'm gonna go find my socks and shoes and we are gonna go Hey Felix Felix look at mommy Look at mom Yay We going for lunch Hey guys, so we have just got our coffee from Nick's work and now we are heading up to lunch. I'm feeling a little bit better now I've got my caffeine, so hopefully the rest of the day is a good one. Everybody, it is Tuesday and it's about hang on, sunrise is on 7 02 in the morning. Felix is gonna want his show soon. I thought I might vlog as soon as I woke up today, so I've got my coffee in one of Nick's coffee cups because it was the first one to reach. So, currently, Felix is wow. over here being silly. He's already no, I've got a coffee. I'm just sitting here uh, with a heat pack on my tummy. Well, my hot water bottle, actually. It's under this blanket. You can't see it. But I actually have a doctor's appointment this morning. And I don't know if I want to go. <laughs> because, uh, basically, uh, a couple of days ago, I had quite bad pain down in, like, my uterus area. Like, my cervix, I suppose you'd say. Oh, my gosh, guys. You're brushing your hair. You handsome thing. <laughs> but then the next day, the pain had actually moved over to my right side. So like my right side of my abdomen area. It persisted all day. It didn't get better, but it didn't get worse either. Uh, it was just uncomfortable. And it was like a dull ache on the uh, right side. And it was worse when I was coughing. So I was like, what the heck? I'm the biggest hypochondriac if you knew me. Uh, everything that happens to me health-wise, 
I panic like a mad woman. I was still able to do stuff. Like I edited uh, this week's vlog, like the first day of it. And I went to the supermarket with Felix. So I'm not like uh, bed bound or anything like that. Um, so I booked a doctor's appointment because I like to get things sorted straight away. Cause I always worry about the worst. Look at him. You're brushing Odin. <laughs> I booked a doctor's no. appointment today for uh, this morning because I was like, you know what, I'll give it till tomorrow. I know a lot of people would just like leave it longer or uh, leave it till the last minute because a lot of people out there don't like doctors. I'm the opposite with my hypochondriac uh, issues. I like to get them sorted immediately. But now I've woken up and I feel like a lot better. Like the pain is very mildly still there but it's not anything in comparison to what it was yesterday. So should I just cancel it guys? I have a pap smear on Thursday and I could just bring it up then, which is in like two days. It's just, I feel that I have to get up, get dressed, get Felix ready and all of that. And it's so early just to be told something that I could possibly wait a couple more days. So that's my dilemma this morning. Felix, who's in the camera? Uh, yeah? Who's that? Uh, Can you see yourself? Who's that? Huh? Look at this. This is so dangerous. Uh, Odin, go play with Odin so mommy can finish her coffee. Uh. How's your breakfast, Felix? Is it nice? Good boy. Yum yum. What have we got? Uh oh. Did you drop him? Where is he? Can you reach? Good boy. Hey guys, I have my second coffee of the morning and it's now like. You're right? It's now like quarter to nine. Ah. <laughs> and ah. I. Ah. You're so silly. Whoa. Anyway, it is quarter. Ah. <laughs> it's not funny. So the pains have actually all gone. I did take some painkillers and I have been using my hot water bottle uh, basically ever since. I woke up this morning uh, and they're gone. So I did cancel my doctor's appointment in the end, but I do think what I'll do is bring it up on Thursday, which is my pup smear. Just in case if it was something to be concerned about, then at least they can put it in my records and they're just aware about it um, because it was quite unusual to get pains like that for that long. So um, yeah, that's what's happened. We're not going to the doctors anymore. And because I am feeling much better, I might take Felix down to the park for a little bit and then come home because I want to make some cheese and bacon muffins. He quite enjoyed them last time I made them. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Just a nice chilled out relaxing one. I'm very happy that my stomach feels a lot better now, but we will definitely uh, bring that up on Thursday regardless, even if it just doesn't come back. And then, oh my gosh, guys, I haven't even told you tomorrow, which is my birthday, uh, we are going to a tattoo studio because I am getting another tattoo. It has been years, but Nick is going to be uh, paying for me to get another one. I'm so excited. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is yet. I'll leave it for a surprise tomorrow afternoon when I show you when I'm allowed to take off the bandage thingy. So anyway, I am going to uh, finish my coffee. Felix is finishing his toast and we will check in very soon. Are you excited, Felix? Woo! It's so empty.
is a uh, Wednesday. So Nick has today off. <laughs> um, just ignore my unmade bed over here. I've got no time. We're about to leave because I'm getting my tattoo today. I'm really excited but also really, really nervous because I haven't had a tattoo in so long. And where I think I've decided that I want it is probably going to be painful. But I've had a baby so I should be fine. So anyway, once again, we're always running late so I have to go. But I will see you guys when we get there. when I get home. Hi guys, it is Thursday and it's nearly midday, like literally a few minutes before midday. I didn't have time to end the vlog yesterday, so I'm doing it now. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys my tattoo. I'm so happy with it. By the way, I know I wore this yesterday, but it's still clean and I really like it. So we're gonna wear it again today because I have my pop smear this afternoon. Ugh. So my tattoo, it went really well. It literally took like five minutes, so super fast. It did hurt a little bit, not gonna lie, but because I hadn't had a tattoo in a while, because obviously I was pregnant and I had Felix and then I had bigger priorities, uh, I kind of forgot all of that. But I already want a new one, so it's obviously not that bad. My tattoo, I'm going to show you guys in a second, but uh, <laughs> I'm so happy with it. It is so cute, feminine and girly. And yeah, I got Felix's name. Uh, I didn't get anything like next to it, like no hearts, no stars, no flowers. I just wanted to keep it sweet and simple. And I got it on my like top part of my arm on the inside, but at the very bottom um, where the crease is where you bend your arm. What's this called? Um... I had it yesterday and I've forgotten now. I really hope that's focusing for you guys, but I'm so in love with this tattoo. I think the font is super pretty. And yeah, I'm so, so happy. So that is everything for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like and subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.